Hello, my name is Michael. And I'm Hayley. And you're watching Just Make Game. Hey, so this video is a week or so later than usual, and that's because we spent the first seven days of this month off at Swordcraft Quest. Now, Swordcraft Quest is uh, basically the biggest LARP event in Australia. So we get 600 plus people together. We all dress up in medieval uh, armor and clothing, and we go and bash each other around with swords and maces and spears and arrows, and just generally have a very nice time. Um, it was very fun. But it's uh, particularly draining because it's essentially seven days of camping but also running around hitting each other with stuff. So it was very enjoyable but I kind of feel like we need like a holiday from our holiday. As stupid as that is. So March has come and gone and we've been making good progress on Commandment. Haley is continuing to work on new enemy designs and animations. And I've been working on the combat itself sound design and visual effects so that's things like particle effects decals bullet holes all that sort of thing we also caught up with josh and john uh, for a music meeting and we went over what we're going to need and what sort of tracks we want to do and plan some of that sort of stuff out so at the start of this month i tidied up the skull boss animations and i created a new animation for it to spawn cultist enemies I'm really happy with how this spawn animation turned out. As always, it was a collaborative effort with Mike. It was his idea to use the existing cultist roll animations and have the skull actually vomit the cultist out as a way of spawning. I've also created an enemy that will appear later on in the game. This was another hard one to animate. The walk cycle had me pretty stumped, so Mike gets the credit for doing the walk cycle and it looks really great. My moments of, I can't do this animation, are getting fewer and further between, which is really good. So the more I practice, the better I am getting. And I'm learning to kind of stop those negative thoughts from happening and just get on with it and try and get better at this. Mike gave me a bit of a lesson in sound design at the start of this month, and I got to have a go at making a sword swing sound effect. The idea for this is to get a bunch of different sounds from freesound.org, mix them all together, layer them, change them a little bit, and come up with an awesome sword swing sound for put in the game for a placeholder. Unfortunately, my attempt sounded a bit like a big pile of metal being thrown into a trash can. So my sound got actually thrown in the bin. Um, it was a really good learning experience, but it's a lot harder than it looks to actually grab all those sounds and layer them so, you know, it, it works for what you want it to work for. We had a music meeting this month too. We had a chat about the scope of the soundtrack and what kind of atmosphere we want the music to convey. Now, I'm not a musician. I can kind of say when I like the sound of something, but I don't have the musical knowledge or language to articulate why exactly. I was a little bit worried about what I would be able to bring to the music meeting, um, but even without the musical knowledge that the other guys have, I felt like I contributed to the meeting by keeping it on track and taking a whole bunch of notes that we can look back on. Because John and Josh are friends of ours, it's really easy to say, come over for a meeting and we'll talk about the game stuff. But then we just end up hanging out and having a couple of beers and a chat. We did get to hang out and have some beers and a chat, but we got the meeting out of the way first. So that was really good. We've both been feeling a bit more stressed out than usual lately for no reason we can really pin down. We've been finding we're not sleeping well or getting out of the house enough. So that's something we need to work on over the next few months. Making games can be all consuming, so we need to try and find a balance between being consumed by commandment and still living and interacting with other people. We've been playing around with the idea of putting up some vlogs to talk about this and about other aspects of our lives and game development. They're a bit more casual and less edited than the Just Make Game videos. So we might get that done in the next couple of months or so, but no promises, we'll see how we go. 
It was really good to get away from the computer and shut out the internet for a week and hang out with our mates at the castle though. Really good break. All right, it's my turn. So this month I've been focusing on the combat system. So you can now attack enemies with melee and ranged combat. You can hurt them and you can now kill them as well. I especially spent some time tightening up the timing for the melee weapon swings. Before it was pretty loose and floaty, now it feels a lot better. Different weapons will have different smears and that's the sort of swippy bit that's out the front of the actual swing. This is the actual part in Commandment that does damage. So here our character is using a saber and he has big wide open swings but he can only chain two attacks together in a combination. Different weapon types will have different types of smears and different ranges, different widths of attack and a different number of hits in a combo as well. So a spear will only have a one or two hit combo but it'll be a long thin smear whereas a dagger might have a very short range, wide smear but you can chain lots of attacks together. We also have our first implementation of decals in the game, so enemies leave pools of blood when you kill them. Uh, firing your firearm into a wall leaves little bullet holes. Uh, we, I've also changed around some of the particle effects as well and added some new ones so that when you shoot a hole in the wall, lots of little sparks come flying out everywhere as well. One of my favourites. As Haley mentioned, I've also gone through and made up some quick placeholder sound effects, especially for the combat itself. I think it's really important to get sound effects in there as soon as possible. A lot of people don't really consider sound effects to be that important, especially in relation to a game in terms of like graphics and gameplay. They think they're much more important, but I reckon they're wrong. Getting sound effects in a game early means you have more time to work on them and to develop them as well as develop the game. Um, and you can refine them as you go along and it basically means that your game's going to be better at the end of the day as opposed to finishing all your game and then just chucking in some placeholders at the end. Well, that'll about do it for this month. So thank you very much to everyone for watching. And I'll see you again next month for another episode of Just Make Game. Warbands are in the throes of an epic battle.